Let's move over there now. Melita Rune has her opportunity. We don't have the mark yet, of course, for Philadelphia. You know, That'll be coming up. You know, it's a good thing that Melita didn't see that fall on the bars. I think it would break her concentration having to go up right away, right after Maria. Actually, she was facing in that direction. I was watching her. I think she probably did see it. Hopefully her concentration was good. Beautiful. She's solid as a rock there. Here's the mark for Falada, 9.40. So all Rune needs is 9.45 to take that bronze medal. You know, she is aware of what happened on the uneven bar. She may take some moves out. She may take some of those skills, extra wrist moves out. Front flip, nope, she sure did. And she's hanging in there with the same routine, going for it all the way. Once again, those head, shoulders, hips, legs, all have to be in line with that balance, being directly over it. Looks like she's getting ready for the dismount now. Although she shouldn't quite pause as long as she is. Here it is. Round off, double back. Okay. She could do it. In fact, there really shouldn't be much doubt about that. By the way, that music, once again, was not for the balance team, but for somebody else on the floor exercise. They're very sure of it in the Romanian delegation there. There it is, 9.8. No question about it. Melita Rune has come from behind to win a bronze medal in these world championships. And still, things are not quite over. 